In researching this episode, I tried to find as much as I could about the difference between men and women's brains. Surprisingly, while there's different slight physiological elements, the processing seems very similar. And even when you take a lot of the experiments, it seems like there's more in common than there is that's different. When I'm working with people, I like to get a kind of feel for their personality and how they'll feel in front of an audience. There's a move called a cross-body lead, but I use it often when I'm meeting someone, where even with a gentleman, I'll shake their hand, and you come over this way. And just by positioning them, I see what kind of resistance they have to me repositioning their body. And I'm only guiding them with these two fingers on the inside of their wrist. So as I walk and step you, I just push slightly and see how you follow that. I think when you think about the differences between how a man's mind works and how a woman's mind works, uh, it comes down more to the backgrounds that they have, how their uh, culture, their society, their uh, other variables that have shaped the way their behavior works. There's, behaviorally, there's drastic differences. But when it comes to physiological differences, if women do something because of this and guys do something like that, that can be affected by so many different things culturally. Some people, well, especially a lot of men, their elbow will cling to the inside of their rib cage. They'll feel like they have a 20 pound weight hanging there. And they'll keep that rigid next to their side as I move them over to the side. So then I find a different role for them to play in the side of the show because I know that that kind of tension will transfer the audience later on. For me, in my work, I exploit the idea of if men have come in an alpha position, um, you can play to that hero element sometimes to ingratiate that so that they have a false sense of confidence. Uh, but as far as a physiological aspect of being able to push a button and get a woman to behave physically in a different way than a man, it's harder than you would think, surprisingly. It's counterintuitive.